So we're we're here at uh, Rio Max headquarters in Redwood Falls, and uh, Josh from Alliance Nebraska showed up after a ten-hour uh, trip delivering bulls. Josh, uh, introduce yourself. Josh Freiberger, Hay Genghis Ranch, Alliance Nebraska, and uh, yeah, I decided I had to meet a guy from Wisconsin with some bulls that he purchased, and uh, I was right in Rio's backyard, so I decided to make the trip up here and see these folks in the headquarters, so. Yeah, well, thanks for stopping up yeah. uh, anytime. So I, I wanted to just hear from you. Um, there's four points that you've talked about before. Um, hay savings, fertility, herd health, and then the, the big scary upfront cost. Yep. Could we talk about those four things Absolutely. on camera? Yeah, um, <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uh, hay savings, Obviously, that's a big subject, and it's something that we see from way up in Canada down to the Gulf of Mexico. Hay savings or forage savings. So what, what have you seen there in uh, western Nebraska? Oh, uh, on our ranch back home in the western sand hills, you know, our cattle, they got to hoof it and they got to work for a living. And uh, we've always been a, a low input herd, so to speak. But um, I even wanted to cut back more. And through years and years of, you know, you, you, you use, you try and make your cows rough it by using, you know, 20 years ago it was cottonseed cake and then it was distillers. And now, you know, it's, it's, it's just different products, but nothing I've used before feeds the rumen and, and and gets the army of bugs like you like to call it. Yeah, roll, that's rolling. What it is. Nothing quite works like Rio, and I don't understand the science behind it. I mean, I'm starting to learn, but well, you already the, said it. You you're yeah, feeding the army, you're feeding <laughs> feeding the bugs, right? Yeah. And Nuch's orb and 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 uh, you know we've been we've managed to you know my dad was. You know, his rule of thumb was always two and a half percent of their body weight during the winter in hay with, with protein source on top of that, whether it be alfalfa or cottonseed cake or so on and so forth. But what we've been able to do through genetics yeah. and Rio is basically cut our hay by about 25%, I think is what I figured roughly. So we're, we're feeding about 20, 20 pounds of hay. And a lot of times we'll feed 30 pounds every other day, you know, when the, when it's not zero or 20 below zero out, and it's gonna be nice for a stretch of a week or 10 days. We'll take 30 pounds out every other day. So they're getting 15 pounds a day. 15, yeah. yeah. And, and then we, we expect them cows to, and our cows, do better, look better, uh, shine better through the winter now with Rio than what they did 15 years ago on cake or, or you know other things with 25 to 35 pounds of hay. So the biggest difference yep. is when you feed those troops, feed those bugs, um, they're doing a better job of squeezing more out of your hay. But when they die and they, they continually die off, they become true protein. So yeah. you're hitting it from two different angles. That's right. So um, on to the next uh, chapter that you've talked about in, in what you've seen in fertility. So we've always had good fertility rates on the ranch. Um, but the biggest part of our fertility I see now with what I do in my seed stock herd is through our embryo program. And that is my recipient cows that I put embryos in, the viable CLs are, they're better CLs and, and our embryo pregnancy rates have gone up dr quite dramatically, which is huge from a seed stock point of view. Cause if you're putting four or $500 embryos yeah. into cows, every one of them bad boys counts, you know? And if you can even, 
If you can even increase your percentage by four or five percent, and I think I've up mine by close to 15 percent of actual pregnancies, that's huge in, in number of ET calves hitting the ground. And, and obviously it's helped our fertility through the whole herd, but I see the biggest increase in embryo work and artificial insemination. You because know, your your numbers were up there on your whole herd yes. in the 90s to start with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've never, we've always been a, you know, there was a number of years there where we just didn't even bother preg checking because it was like, what's the point when you out of five, 600 cows, you've only got, you know, eight to 12 opens. We just didn't see the sense in the expense of preg checking. But, right. But now with the seed stock herd and where I'm doing purebred stuff now, I ultrasound everything. So, yeah, you know, but 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 we've managed to 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 increase more first heat cycle pregnancies. Sure, you know, and better embryo and better the, the embryo deal really is where I've seen the big, you know, those viable good CLs to put right. embryos in. You know, that's and, been huge. And, so. and there again. It's no rocket science. It's just getting mineral, your trace minerals, yep. especially your copper, zinc, manganese, selenium, in a form that it gets through the rumen and into the small intestine, where it is absorbed yep. into the bloodstream. Yep. You know, it's not rocket science, but it is science that is overlooked by a lot of folks. Absolutely. I mean, if it's not, if it's just, if it goes in one end and out the other end, and it's not absorbed. You're throwing money away. You, you are and wasting money and wasting genetic potential. Yeah, you're wasting everything. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's just simple common sense tells you that, you know, if you're not getting the results from something, then you need to be doing something different. And yeah. Rio has certainly accomplished that for us. So. And, and, and we're not saying that we're better than everybody else by any stretch, but I am, uh, as the owner of Rio Nutrition, I am very, very focused on doing things that drive the economic model of the ranch. And there's only so many ways to increase or decrease um, expenses or, or output performance on the ranch. Um, hay savings is one, increasing fertility is another. Yep. Um, that takes us to the next step I uh, wanted to talk about briefly is herd health and immune status. What have you seen there? Um, that's probably the biggest, not probably, it is the biggest uh, benefit I've seen in our herd and with Rio is less doctored cattle, less bacterial stuff, you know, viral pneumonias, less, less coccidiosis, less uh, pretty much any sickness you can think of we doctor like nil compared to what we used to yeah. for herd health. That it's That's huge, you know, because more time, it all goes back to your bottom, you know, it all goes back to money in, money out. And if yeah. you're headed to the vet with sick calves all the time, or you're buying bottles of Resfor Gold and Zactrin or Draxin left and right. And they don't give that away anymore. And that's not cheap <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's money out, you know, and, and I hate the money out portion of the business. You know, you, you want to knock that stuff off, right? Yeah. So herd health and, and, and treating less cattle for sickness has been by far the biggest benefit of Rio that I have seen tenfold. I mean, it's yeah. just, um, and we've changed things management wise also that helps. Sure. I mean, there's, a, there's, there's always things that, you know, you can learn through management to how do I, decrease stress, how do I do this, how do I do that? But but from a sheer doctoring cattle and, and overall herd health, that's been the biggest benefit of Rio over fertility or anything sure. you know, that we've seen. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, so. And, and it's not only the the uh, cost to doctor that, that that drug or that antibiotic, it's the, the trajectory of that cast life Absolutely. Um, ongoing, and, and that's where you see the big the big benefit. Like one of the things that I've been looking into and doing some studying on is fetal programming. Absolutely. You know? And, and uh, you know, and that's why, you know, some people just run mineral with their cows for 90 days up to calving or this or that. And I'm like, man, 
year-round consistency because the fetal programming, the there's just so many things that that that's going on with that animal inside and out that yep. you whatever you're doing on the day of conception to the day he calves is affecting that calf. It counts. It counts. Everything yep. counts going clear through that animal's life and. Um, it's a year round consistent thing that uh, will last point upfront costs. Yeah. Those costs that you're putting into that animal, you're like, man, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily, she looks good. I don't need to do that when she's in that first trimester on fall range. She looks good. I don't need to be doing that. But what's going on inside with that baby calf that she's growing? Yep. And is huge to what's going to happen to that animal and the you know going all you know clear through the first couple hundred days of that calf's life absolutely so, yeah and and i see rio as being a huge tool for better fetal programming you know or i think another word they use is epigenetics or yeah i don't you know but or or yeah. imprinting fetal Imprint, imprinting yeah, yeah, imprint, yeah. all those terms it's, but yeah. it's for real and yep. we see that and, and i i will say you know in the defense of the industry, like all good sound mineral programs, not not just Rio Max, yep. but a good sound mineral program will have compounding effects. Yeah. So what's good this year is going to be better next year, and you see that um, that plane of nutrition yep. going up and the results going up. Well, I'm never I'm I'm not a big fan of science, but yeah. there is some science that is beneficial common sense science. common sense science yeah amen yes so like science can be manipulated science can be falsified quite easily but do your research and identify the right common sense science that just makes sense and you guys have done that better than anybody i know of you well, know just, we, just just there's a lot of good mineral programs out there but we just I just am a firm believer in just what I've seen in my herd in Western Nebraska, that it, it just makes sense, you know, and... and well, it, it needs to make sense from a dollars and cents mm -hmm. perspective and from a, um, you know, common sense perspective. And so, uh, Josh, I appreciate you stopping out here yeah. um, on your way back to Nebraska. Um, you have safe travels yeah. and uh, I, I appreciate you. Um, I, I appreciate you sharing this because if we can help somebody out there uh, to see the bigger picture, this is not just mineral. Yes, it's a puzzle piece in the bigger picture as far as you know. You got management, you got genetics, all of that. But uh, mineral is supporting and and uh, enhancing the genetic potential. Absolutely. And. I, I think it has a big part in the overall profitability of the ranch. Well, if it wasn't working, <laughs> you wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. That's right. You know, because I, and we've been on it consistently now for five years. And we were skeptics in the beginning, just like anything. Just like know. everybody was. Yeah. yeah. And, but it's all about, like we had the last conversation, is the juice worth the squeeze? And, that upfront sticker price is like, uh, you know, but over time, Rio will save you more money than you can possibly imagine through fertility, herd health, just all those things that add up over the course of a year. And when you go back and figure it all, that 23, 24 cents a day is pretty minuscule yeah. compared to the return. what you would be, you know, yes, the return on investment. Yeah. Absolutely, yep. Well, to, to wrap up, my uh, corny little one-liner is Rio Max. Um, it should really be spelled R-O-I Max, Return on Investment Max. Yep. So yep. thanks everybody for thank listening you. and thank you yep. for joining us today. Absolutely. All the best. Appreciate it.